We just went through uh, the first lock transit on the Panama Canal, heading south to north, going from the Atlantic to the Pacific across the Isthmus of Panama. We went through the Gatun Lock, which was really cool. It took about two hours, I think. Um, and we're in the historic lock. And so you've got traffic going this way in the historic lock and traffic going this way. <laughs> There's a look at the Atlantic Bridge. Now we're in the two mile channel that will take us into the Gatun locks. Here's a tug that will come and help position us at the start of the locks. And a pilot will join the ship for the entire transit. So this is the spillway to the Gatun locks. The electric towing locomotives you see down there are called mules and they will attach to the ship with cables and have complete control over the movement of the ships through the locks at two miles an hour. You can see them still continue to tow the ship coming towards us that is leaving the lock as we enter it. And now we can see water being released in the chamber ahead of us so that the lock gates can open. The lock gates are opening. It will allow that ship to come down into the spillway. So there's one this way and one this way. It's the Vegas song according to vessel tracker, an LPG tanker headed towards Houston. We are connected to the mules and headed towards the first stage of the lock. The Gatun locks are a three-stage flight of locks, two kilometers, or one and a quarter mile long. And they will lift the ship to the Gatun lake level, some 27 meters or 87 feet above sea level. So each of these compartments will lift the ship about nine meters or 29 feet. The petrochemical tanker solar Karen passing by us, headed in the opposite direction. You can go to the website Vessel Finder and put in the name of a ship and find out all kinds of information on it, including its current location. I can go on there and find the Solar Karen and see that it's 183 meters long and 32 meters wide. Here's a look at the second stage of the Katoon Lock. And we are headed up into the third and final stage. We'll squeeze by the lock house here. I guess we haven't mentioned it yet, but we are currently aboard the Island Princess cruise ship on a complete transit of the Panama Canal. Now, the Island Princess was specifically built as a Panamax ship within the allowable size dimensions to fit through the old locks of the Panama Canal. Most of the newer cruise ships are so large that they have to transit through the new locks, and we specifically wanted to experience a transit on the historic locks.
This is a 14-day cruise which begins in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, transits the canal, and stops in Colombia, Costa Rica, and Mexico before ending in Los Angeles, California. Here's a look at the Point Lisa's. She's also a petrochemical carrier. As we are being towed to the end of the spillway and about to enter Gatun Lake, another cargo ship is coming in. It's the bulk carrier Kanya. I looked it up online and interestingly enough, container ship transits through the Panama Canal cost generally between $60,000 and $300,000. So, quite expensive to bring a ship through here. It's estimated the canal supplies 12% of Panama's gross domestic product. So it's really a lot of revenue coming to the country of Panama. It must be a treat for these people on these cargo ships to see a cruise ship this close. Everybody comes out on the deck to wave to us. They sure act like they're glad to see us. Makes you feel like a celebrity. It's a helipad in the center of this ship. You can see the tug positioned on the other side that'll get it up and close to the lock where they will attach the tugs, the mules. The new lock is just over to our left that, and we can't really see it, it's through the trees. Um, and what they do is they bring you in from the Atlantic and they raise you up to go into the Gatun Lake, which is a 51 mile man-made flooded area that was easier to flood and send the ships across than it was to dig a canal the whole way across. And so when we get closer to the Pacific, closer to Panama City, there are two sets of locks over there that we will go through and start lowering ourselves to get back down to sea level. It was really neat. I had no idea what to expect. The, there are um, little cog trains that they call mules that they tie off with uh, big wires, rope, 
what would you call that? Cables. Cables, I'm sorry. Big cables that run through the ship and the mules pull you through and they pull, they go up as you're going up. Um, uh, and that's how it's been done since 1916. I heard the word mule and got excited because I thought they were mules, um, but they were not mules. My husband was embarrassed and is shaking his head. They've never used mules, real mules, on this canal. It's always been trains, these little cog rail trains. Um, I don't know. It was super interesting. To think that they did this in 1916 is... Uh, kind of mind-blowing. It has been very hot and humid so we've been up in the swimming pool and during that time we have crossed the Gatun Lake which is an artificial lake formed by the building of the Gatun Dam and it's 25 kilometers or 15 miles across the isthmus where you join the Chagres River which is 8.4 kilometers uh, it's a natural riverway that is enhanced by the damming of the Gatun Lake. After that, we join the Culebra, Cul Culebra Cut, which is 12.5 kilometers that slices through the mountain ridge and across the Continental Divide, which is going to bring us into the Pedro Miguel locks. We'll get a different view off the bow of the ship here, a different perspective than from our balcony. Now the single stage Pedro Miguel lock is the first part of the descent and it has a lift of 9.4 meters or 31 feet. When we exit the lock, we enter the Miraflores Lake, which is 1.8 kilometers, or a little over a mile long, and 16 meters, or 54 feet above sea level. So we can guess how far the next lock is going to lower us. Here we are at the Miraflores Lock. It is a two-stage lock with a total descent of, you guessed it, 16 meters or 54 feet. The glass building you see before you is an observation platform that land visitors to the Panama Canal to, uh, can come and view ships going through the lock. So we got quite the round of applause as we pulled in earlier. Apparently there's a big visitor center here and an IMAX theater showing the Panama Canal movie narrated by Morgan Freeman. If we were getting off the ship here, we could see that, but we're not. So we're gonna just pass on by. As we exit the Miraflores Locks, we enter Balboa Harbor. From here, the Pacific Ocean is 13.3 kilometers or eight and a quarter miles away. And there is a view of Panama City in the distance. Well, we appreciate you coming along with us. You know, I always wanted to do a Panama Canal transit and I'm glad that I finally got to do one. You just never really know what something looks like until you experience it for yourself. And I must say, I thoroughly enjoyed understanding the mechanics of it after going through it. It's kind of it's kind of cool enough that I think I might do it again. Now we hope that you found this video 
enjoyable and maybe even helpful. If you have any questions, we'll be pleased to answer if we can. And thanks for watching.